Welcome to Cassiopeia Berlin, where I have downfall of Gaia with me. Uh, guys, uh, how does the year 2018 look for downfall of Gaia? This year? Uh, I don't know, we want to focus on, on touring, playing way more than we did last year. Last year was a little bit... Uh, yeah, things didn't work out the way we planned it to be, so we didn't play that much, so we want to do it different this year and tour away more and uh, yeah start with the songwriting for a new record and yeah keep it easy focus on touring writing a bit besides that and uh, yeah that's the plan okay yeah it's a third day of atrophy tour so how has the tour kicked off it was pretty good it was it it's just the third day, as you said, but so far the first two shows have been really good. Um, good people, great crowd, turnout and everything, so um, people were into it, so there's nothing to complain about so far. But it's still pretty early in the tour, so we will see what will happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're a band who's uh, known to do more than 100 gigs on one year, so what makes your tour so much? I don't know, I think it's passion. I would say it's passion about the music and it's great to be away from home and just sit in a stinky van and <laughs> drive around and play shows. It's just, yeah, I think it's just the passion about music what keeps us going because it can be really uh, exhausting from time to time but uh, in the end this is way better than sitting at home and doing whatever, yeah. Okay, and what makes for a good gig? Good gig, yeah, it depends on. Um, it can be just a crowd, like uh, just a few people, but they are really crazy and really into the music and they make a special atmosphere. Or it is depending on the venue, like if you enter and you feel really uh, good treated and uh, these are the things who who are like um, most important, at least for me, uh, for a good show, because I don't think it depends on which city or whatever. It's yeah, all the atmosphere around it. Okay, you mentioned that last year was a bit difficult for you. So, uh, would you care a bit uh, to tell a bit more what happened last year? Yeah, we we um, the plan was to tour way more as we did but it didn't work out because let's say we trusted the wrong people <laughs> so um, we were wasting too much time waiting for this and that and in the end nothing worked out and then it was already too late for this already too late for that and then the whole year was just destroyed by yeah trusting the wrong people that's basically the story so that's why we we yeah kept it easy <laughs> and didn't do that much because it just didn't work out yeah okay let's go to your music uh, people have uh, tried to box you in in some kind of m musical genres like a list of different genres but uh, in your own words how would you describe your music I don't know that's that's tough to say because in the end I think all of us don't care that much about genres we never said oh we are black metal band or whatever we just do what feels right for us and what's happening in the rehearsal room and between the four of us so it's not that we try to be this and that it's just a mix of a lot of things that are influencing us in some way from all genres to be honest sludge doom black metal post metal whatever everything so yeah, we don't like stamps that much, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, where does the inspiration for your music come from? Yeah, basically a uh, daily life struggle. <laughs> um, just uh, memories we had in the past and of course all the bands we saw when we were younger and like Dominic and uh, me, we grew up in the same small uh, village city whatever and uh, shared like 10 years of youth together now even more i guess um, so it's basically 
what we learned about life during this time and um, about the music we've been listening during this time and listening at the moment. So it comes all together and plus Mike, our drummer from New York and Marco, the new guitar player from Italy. It's great to have people around who just can influence each other with different music styles they're listening in private or like um, how they behave in social life. It's just interesting and I think it's this melting pot which comes together in Downfall of Gaia and this is basically our music. Uh, okay, uh, you already mentioned that you are starting to write some new music and uh, actually you have been putting a new record out every two years, so basically the, this year would be the year, so uh, are we going to see a new album already this year? Tough to say right now, tough to say, because this time it's not that easy to plan things, so I really don't know, probably not, <laughs> but never say never, but uh, we don't want to rush things just to get a record out every two years, so maybe this time it will take a little bit more time but we don't know yet okay do you already have a sense of what kind of music will we hear in the new album yeah I think the story will continue where atrophy did end so yeah we will see as I already told you we are we don't like stamps and we don't have any genres in our mind that needs to be in our music so but but the story will continue where the recent record end so yeah some melodies some blast beats some the usual stuff and the rest who knows yeah putting genres aside uh, what kind of adjectives would you yourselves use about your music the music atmospheric I would say it's atmospheric this is one of the most important things for us that it's very yeah I don't know that it's that it's that it gets you you know that it that it's uh, catching the attention of someone or is doing sub so, doing something to someone you know yeah the atmosphere and uh, the vibe is the most important thing I would say which is part of this music I mean we could play a song and just do blast beats for three four minutes but this is not what we what we want to do it's yeah it needs to be the whole thing needs to be yeah yeah it's about the vibe I would say yeah okay uh, bands story is now over a decade long so what have been the most memorable moments for you Okay. Um, as a band, I think one of the most memorable moments was uh, playing Hellfest. This was just crazy. Never been to such a big festival before, and of course there were also like, um, yeah, not so good moments like uh, when uh, our latest drummer left or Peter, our latest guitar player, left because we already knew them for ages and it was, yeah first thing we thought it was like shocky for us but we just continued and now it all turned out for good but yeah these are like main memories for me yeah I think I would say the same but also being the first time in the States and playing a tour this was something really big for us uh, also being in Japan or Australia this was also pretty insane and a lot of fun so yeah, seeing new places for the first time, this is something that always will always stay in your head. So I think that's that's it for me. And also Hellfest, yeah. Uh, yeah, you mentioned the early uh, live performances. Uh, what has changed from those uh, first gigs for, for example, today in Berlin? A lot. <laughs> A lot. I don't know. When we started, we just... we always paid more for the shows as we got back you know we, we paid a lot money to play shows we played for I don't know like a few people we, we slept in really cold and dirty places stuff like that it became way more easy now to tour so we've got sleeping places and stuff like that you know it was it was different when we started because no one really cared so
So um, yeah, this this is something that changed, and also of course the audience changed a lot. We we when we started, we were kind of connected to this crust punk DIY scene. So th this is also something that changed when we signed to Metal Blade, for example. So the audience kind of got became older and let's say more metal or whatever so yeah this is also something that changed and yeah it's I don't know yeah it was a lot way different back in the days yeah I imagine well thank you so much guys and uh, break leg tonight yeah thank you. thank you very much for having us thank you